frosty today. I had to work. Got the Jetta loaded up. I cut down that tree for the chainsaw chainsaw guy. He gave me a whole bunch of VP stuff. Got racing fuel, baby. And I got a PV in this Jetta. And I have a BR800 leaf blower in there too. There's a lot of firepower in this Jetta. Perfect fit. Straight wheels. You want it look kind of a little cock more cockeyed? See where I'm gonna be at. <laughs> yeah. I like the practice. <laughs> yeah, the air, air ground guys. Yeah. You've heard of air bands. Yeah. You've heard of air ground guys. <laughs> You're like, basically going to feed gonna, it. Yeah. I'm going to jack it down so it goes up like that. I mean, I'm going to throw them all into the, the feed wheel so, yeah, so you won't have to do anything. Here, looking cool yeah. across <laughs> a point. Yeah. We'll, see how it goes. we'll get it uh, figured out. Okay, so. Me and Randy are out here. We got these trees to remove. So there was a fire three years ago. I think this is a spruce, hemlock, firs. There's a locust way over there. It's, I think it's eight trees along this row. They're literally, uh, they're burnt crispy, crispy toast. Anyways, we're gonna cut these trees down and we're gonna do it all with Randy's, this is Randy's bucket and his chipper. It's really great having Randy. He can show up to all, cause uh, you know, I just mostly do like down only stuff. So, but if I do need something cleaned up, Randy's got all the equipment. So we're spraying the chips on the hillside and they're keeping the, the wood. And yeah, we're just getting set up. Me and Randy will take turns in the bucket. Nothing really crazy about this job, but it seems like something interesting always happens. People in the comments say to just film all the jobs. So here we are, I'll film this one. Bucket, boss? Yeah. Uh, I, oil. <laughs> I picked it up <laughs> on the ground. Oh. I almost stepped on it. Is that a battery powered chainsaw? Yeah. It is, yeah. Are you freaking kidding me? Awesome. I got an electric one, so. It's really good. Huh? I was surprised. Yeah, I know. I was watching yeah, some of your stuff at 175 foot. Sure I gotta get me a Yeah. Ah, that was awesome, dude. Yeah, this thing's great. Oh, hey, I got something for you. Yeah. Christmas present for you. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> 50, 50 big ones. Oh my gosh! That'll last me about a week. <laughs> no, wait. Yeah. Thank you. Until you get your sponsorship. Yeah. Enough. It's a scratch and sniff too. Fifty dollars a week. <laughs> this is gonna get me through the day. Smell it. <laughs> it really yeah, it's a scratch and sniff. Oh, it's yeah. like cinnamon rolls. Oh, you mean Cinnabon? Well, yeah. <laughs> Not Billsbury. I'd throw it. Billsbury. What, what is this nonsense? I've worn these a thousand times. Oh yeah, the uh, struggle is real. Every time I put one on, it's like taking off my first bra. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Yeah. What is this? What is this? How do you do this <laughs> behind your back? Yeah. <laughs> 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 this handle's like so cold, Randy. What the heck? I can't believe you got me running an icy handle. <laughs> oh. oh, I didn't even see it. I gotta get a good angle. Uh, Randy videos take twice as long to edit. <laughs> the 
in here so this is a spruce and this is witch's broom right here this would have been a really extremely dense portion of the tree really bushy and the fire burnt it all up so like if you see an alberta spruce dense spruces that's a cultivar that's when somebody takes basically a mutated part of the tree and they propagate it they'll put root hormone on it and they'll they'll take a clipping and then, then they'll subsequently keep cloning it and so an alberta spruce what it is is somebody's taking witch's broom cloning it and then making a tree out of it and oftentimes with these cultivars it's all actually one tree just cloned over and over and over again they're usually not uh, they don't reproduce in the wild you know and you'll see Sometimes an Alberta spruce will start to revert back. It'll start growing a normal spruce branch. It's kind of interesting. I've never ran into it burnt up like that before. It's pretty cool looking. Wow! Okay, well, this is it for me, sadly. This tree just got significantly less fun. I gotta climb up there. I just do, and what sucks is there are power lines over there. First of all, I gotta climb up this burnt tree. It's been burned for three years. But second of all, the thing that really sucks is right where I have to hop out is where it splits into two tops. So 
it's half the diameter immediately, you know, once I get up there. The unions are always the weakest point, so there are too many branches to really get a good look at it right now. I at least got to climb up there, get a better look at it. Hopefully it's good enough to climb up. I'll definitely climb the one on this side, not that one, because that one leans a little more. I'll get my gear on. Do you always climb with a handsaw? I try to. Sometimes like I'll take it off randomly because I'm doing like weird stuff and then I'll just, it won't be on. I'm like, man, I wish I had my handsaw. I usually keep it on my saddle. But yeah, I, I do climb with it. This is the thing I hate about the zigzag. I gotta take all my rope out of my bag. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, annoying. This is that Arbo space rope. I'm in need of a new rope, very badly. Kind of like tachyon. Yeah. Like. You want me to rip that through? Sure. You want it I in the bag? Do this. Yeah. You yeah. You're going up with a ropey land? Yeah, because of the power lines. Oh, ho, ho, ho. EHAP. I'm, uh, well, I was power line certified, line clearance certified. Definitely not, uh, don't feel any need to renew that. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to get near those. <laughs> like the worst credential ever. I'm, I'm freaking out being this close on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the power lines. Are you ready? I'm so ready. <laughs> I'm so ready. You know how you watch a movie from your childhood and it's like usually not as good as you remember? The other day I watched Beverly Hills Ninja. Oh! Dude, yeah, even better than I remember. Yeah. Only when I am no longer breathing <laughs> shall I be dead. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's a good movie. Dude, it's such a good movie. It's so much funnier than I even remember. Can I see you? <laughs> One sec, let me make sure I'm uh, disconnected. Yeah, it's all you. So working on the power lines, I'm not using my steel core lanyard. This is a rope lanyard, which you gotta be extra careful with the rope lanyards. This is obviously you can cut them. Uh, steel core, pretty hard to cut through. Some people say you can uh, cut right through them once you put body weight on them. That's, I don't think that's true. So I, I use this, it conducts electricity less, but I gotta be more careful. Let's do this. And I was really uh, digging life more. 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Average dead tree, how long do you think it's been dead for? Ooh, well, a customer says it's only been dead a year. Yeah. And I always believe that. that. <laughs> <laughs> so only a year, no. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure. I mean, I know, I feel like they just, they can sit there and deteriorate forever. This is three years, so I don't know if it's good or bad. Or... I mean, it's still got twigs on it, you know? I feel like it's bad when you are cutting like the branches a bunch and they're just like that, but you can, they're light, like they're full, but like light is all hell. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I mean, there was, they're still kind of heavy. These are pretty heavy, yeah. you're right. But when they're like super like- I need you to pep like, talk me, you know? Feel me, it's stout. It's stout, it's tall. It's not even moving very much, only like six to 10 feet. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you're solid, man. At least the power lines aren't that close. Well, they're, they're pretty close, I guess. I was gonna say, they're, they're close, but... But the branches aren't uh, over them, I should I say. I guess they're, it's not as probably as close as we you've ever been, right? When you hear them humming. No. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm way too close. This is this is for somebody else. What am I doing up here? You start making, thinking about life decisions. Yeah. Why do was, I do this for a living? Was last Saturday gonna be my last Cinnabon? <laughs> I'm, I'm, in, <laughs> I'm thinking of, you know, stuff like that. I'll just come visit you up there on this witch's broom. <laughs> see how you're doing. So this tree, see that line right there? That's uh, included bark where the tops grow together. And that's a weak point, so I don't like that. You can also see a lot of pitch running all over the place. That tells me that the, that's a stress point. That's opening and closing, causing sap to leak out, you know? Kind of lame. I'm gonna stand on this straight upright one, right? Because obviously the more leany it is, the more force I'm putting on that union, but I'm gonna keep my lane around both tops, so I'm kind of like pulling them together as I climb up. This, this is a sketchy tree, especially with the, the power lines there. You know, this top leans heavy over the power lines. This top is, straight but it's tangled with that top so our only options are sending a big 
top uh, somewhere, but then we're making a big cut right next to the power lines. We're climbing up and taking small tops, and honestly, I don't like either of those options. Yeah, none of those options are <laughs> great. It's feeling okay. You're just gonna feeling, keep going. I'm gonna keep going, yeah. Gnarly. Yeah. All the branches are so twisted. Twisted sister. So I don't like that union. I don't like the idea of these prying apart. That one leans pretty hard towards the power lines. So I just tied them two together right here. I can't tie it together down there because it's too low. I gotta get a little bit higher up. So now they're tied together. I, I feel a little bit better. And now I will cut my branches. Sucks and you have to choose between do I risk falling or do I risk hitting the power lines with a tree? Uh, I would say I'd, I'm risking the power lines because I can't come back. <laughs> I'm not replaceable. Yeah, yeah that's true. Not <laughs> have you, uh, I've taken down three phase power. Oh, yeah. All day. Well, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's I love it. We both have that. I call that a brag. <laughs> oh, have you taken out the face Not to brag, power? but I'm taking out the <laughs> Yeah, I was humming pretty bad and then sparked on the ground all crazy. It was all cool. It's not good, yeah. It's... No. And then it's like the risk of getting electrocuted is huge, you know? Pick up the wire on the ground. Yeah, just going crazy. I had it, I rigged a cottonwood lead out and the ground guy let it run all the way down like crazy and it just took out the power lines oh it just like it just might as well not even wrap. yeah it might yeah, as well not even well. but it, it sucked because then i'm up in the top of the tree and this thing is just all wrapped up in the wires the lead and the rope and i like i gotta repel out of the tree and try not to touch yeah try not to touch the wires yeah. that seems like a holy crazy situation before we had bucket trucks is all traditional climbs yeah the first few years we didn't have them Looking back, I'm like, what was I even doing in that tree? I didn't even have hardly any experience. I have <laughs> like, that. Who put thing me up there? Yeah, I just there's so many trees. I'm like, I had no business being up there. What, what, <laughs> yeah. what was my boss thinking? Yeah, well, <laughs> I didn't even put me up there. Yeah, maybe maybe that's how you do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's see if he does it. I really thought your bucket would reach all this. I'm sorry, it's not big enough now. It's not the size that matters. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's how, you... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's how you use it, you know? Yeah. It's crazy what that 15 extra feet of boom will do. Oh, I know. Like, it, it, it'd probably be about right here. Yeah, it'd be like, the st it'd be a standard, like, you'd just, you'd be in the bucket, standing. Yeah, I wouldn't have got, I had to get out of the bucket. You probably could have done a little dance before you, you know, you're yeah. all, all safe. Yeah, I can still dance a little bit, but <laughs> not too hard. Yeah, not too hard. This tree's no. moving a lot. <laughs> I guess I can't dance. I can't even dance up here, Randy. What am I doing up here? We don't. I shouldn't like be that. climbing. That's how you should. That's the litmus test. If you're if you can't dance in your tree, <laughs> that's a dangerous tree, you know. Well, it's weird because it's like uh, I don't think I've ever climbed a tree that had been burnt to death. No? I don't think so. I've done a few in Gig Harbor. Some kind of like... Just like random ones that are 4th of July, you know, someone got a little too drunk and yeah. dumb stuff. Gosh. I'm thinking about going over to single stem, but I don't really want to. You are up there. You're, I'm, I'm not mad. You're making these tops easy. I'm not going to have to take my chainsaw. I'm just going to have to pick it up with one arm because I'm so strong. <laughs> this will be my last rung and then I'll be able to top these. Then you'll be at, uh, at the point. Oh man, my battery's low. I don't really want to die in the middle of these. Let me just do some more limbs and then I'll sit it down. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna walk my Yeah, I don't think I've ever been through three batteries on one tree. It's so weird. Are you setting the tops? Yeah. Right, you ready for this? Yep. Feed me. <gasps> okay. <laughs> are you all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just having a time? I just don't like it. I just don't like this it's, tree. No, it just doesn't look very fun. I'm just doing...
<laughs> it's like a mega deep dish. Yeah, I was looking at that. That's almost a whole whole slice you sent yeah. down, a whole pie. Yeah. All right. You ready? Yep. And that's good. Yeah. yeah. Give a little love. Oh, give a little. little Come on, pushing. baby. Come on, baby. Oh, you know you want to. Oh. Oh, here we go. Nice. Nice and done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ow! Uh, are you taking that one? Yeah, I'm gonna take this one too. I'm just in that kind of mood, you know? <laughs> I, take, <laughs> yeah. I take one, I just don't want to stop, you know? I'm gonna put it right on top of that other one. Perfect. Actually, it actually leans, yeah. It leans out that way? Kind actually of weird, leans weirdly the opposite enough. way, but I don't know. But you're just gonna then be... Then it'll be a big mess over there. I'm gonna push off push, push it. Uh, it's not that much brush. If it goes whatever way you want to put it, if you want to put it out on the road, I'll go grab it. <laughs> Well, it kind of leans to my right, actually. Oh. But then it's, you don't want it up there, right? I'm gonna oh. put it right on top of that top. Do my face cut. Hear that noise? What is that? I don't know. My hope is it's the ice cream man. <laughs> <laughs> but you never know. Or the, the Cinnabon man, that would be cool. Oh man. Oh, yeah. She's standing almost straight up now. Oh, yeah. I've got the power! That's what I think. I got it, I can push it over. Oh. Nice. Blinks. Right. Uh -oh. <laughs> I got the power. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that's over. Yeah. Uh, give me one sec. I'll get that out of the way, and then I'll. Oh God! I'm both. Oh God! I almost went down. <laughs> Real hardcore. So uh, I know that you know you're a Cinnabon man, but have you tried Annie's uh, pretzels? Annie Ann's. Yeah, you tried those. Oh yeah, I'm a fan. I think they're... In the airport, I had the cinnamon ones. Oh yeah? They were quite good. They were tasty, huh? Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna say anything. I don't want to badmouth Cinnabon. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a con it's a conflict of interest. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think my sponsor would like that. I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna call it Schmanny Hands. <laughs> Petzels, but uh... Yeah, it's... Schmanny Hands Petzels. <laughs> Is that like, it's conflict of interest, but I'm. Uh, you feel, feel free to fire it down. I'm gonna chip this up real quick and then do a little tuning up. If you want to throw that out my face too. Well, I feel like the rounds might bounce like crazy. I don't want to like startle you uh, by, by, you, <laughs> by hitting you with a piece. Do you of want me to leave the brush right here as a little bit of a barrier right now? Maybe. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, I mean, uh, I guess I won't chip right now. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you want to get that down to a good, I mean, oh, uh, I nailed it. Yeah, I'll leave the brush there for a barrier for you to get down. What big All saw right. are you gonna want? I have my forty-six, but I'll probably do the big saw in the bucket truck. Oh yeah, I forgot you can come down. Yeah, did you gonna... mark where you're? Uh... Uh, I, I, yeah, I can, you don't want to stand in that all day. I, I remember. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to get in that bucket truck. <laughs> I square ground this on my Symington, just for fun. I think it's a semi-chisel. It's slightly round in the corner. This chain cuts really well. I square ground it and notice no difference. It doesn't seem like it's cutting any better. It seems like it cuts just as good round. It's just, just kind of neat, but it does work. I was able to, I was able to square grind this, but uh, I think it was cutting just fine. Just maybe I'll take a little off the rakers. It's cutting fine, um, but it cuts really well. The round file, it's probably just as good. It's a lot easier. Spruce is technically a softwood, but it's actually pretty hard. Okay, I'm gonna throw this round. We'll see what it does. I'm just gonna put it right up here. Well, that's not that bad. No, it's uh, it's pretty soft, but then sometimes you hit that underground trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna transfer to single stem. Oh yeah. 
Now we're talking. You think you're gonna want a gas saw at some point? No, I'll be all right until uh, I got a fresh battery, you know? Pretty wild, three batteries. That's really rare. Yeah, that is pretty rare to be honest with you. I mean, but it's it's... A, there's a lot of limbs and spruce is really hard. Like the limbs. I don't know what it is with spruce, but they're, they're hot. It they had a lot of branches on it. Square ground? I can yeah. tell by the sawdust. Oh, that was a square. Square little filings, I can tell. Yeah, that was square filings. <laughs> It's cutting fine, but it's not any better. I didn't touch the rakers though, mm. maybe. That, uh, that might have something to do with it. Me. Aren't those safety rakers, even though they say that doesn't matter? Yeah. Safety rakers. They said they didn't notice any difference. I don't know why they bother putting it on there. Like, does anybody, nobody likes it. Nobody likes the safety raker. Even the homeowners, they don't know the difference. No. Yeah. You know? It also does help with the kickback. Actually. Are you, are you trying to kickback? That's very little kickback. It's actually very little kickback. Holy crap. I've never actually tried this. I guess that's why they do the safety raker. <laughs> it's really very little kickback. Man, those blackberries really are a nice pattern. It's really not very pleasant to cut. Hey, Randy. What's up? Can you come pick me up? Yeah. You want me to put the bucket? Can you give up me the there? bucket? Yeah. Yeah. Give me one sec. Do you want your big saw in the bucket? I think I'm gonna want to come down and take all my, take all my clothes off. I feel it. <laughs> I, and if you, have you ever, uh, do you ever just buzz down on your rope and then when you get back up to the top, you just undo the clipping? Oh, that would work. Yeah, that way you can just undo the, the yeah. line. Or if you want, I can. You, you, you <laughs> want the bucket? sounds so obvious, but yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> That's extremely obvious. Uh, do you care if I ship this like, up? I, I'm stuck up here. <laughs> I'm how, isolated. How do I get how down? Do I get yeah, I'll do that. Uh, do you care if I chip up real quick while you get your... Oh, I love it. That'd be great. <laughs> Dang it. Sap on my new rope. I got a gal in Massachusetts. She's trying to make me a soap for removing sap. I'm gonna have a sappy soap. Do you think if I drop like a six foot chunk towards the power lines, do you think it'll bounce off the hill, like slamming into that trailer and killing everybody inside? <laughs> <laughs>
saw cutting so well, you're like, man, how am I ever gonna replicate this? No, that's gonna make me mad when it's not the shark. That's the main thing I've learned traveling doing tree work is everybody saw us go. My clothing is Shriner. Do they try to get you to move over there? Are they trying to? Do like, they love me over yeah, there? Yeah, that's uh. They're so awesome. Get a hold of Mr. Shriner and talk to him. Dude, <laughs> what you want to go? You want to go to Shriner? It'd be interesting. They got these big grapple chippers. They, it's a huge company. They got like 60 people. Oh shoot. Yeah, they got two cranes. They got a 40 and a 55 ton. Is it going out every day? I think both of them. Really? Steve said this year the removals have been really slow. The Sounds other years. Like they're big companies. Yeah, they got six plant healthcare crews, oh, ten, so ten tree right. crews. Every tree crew, you know that big yellow chipper at east side? They have like ten of those. Yeah. Every truck Was has it one. 1890, 1890 the big it's like a 20 inch and everything is clean everything runs perfect once a week a company yeah, comes in on saturday wash and washes yeah. all their trucks That's they've great. got like three mechanics full time everything works perfect everything's in the spot it's amazing dude well, now you're making me feel foolish with my <laughs> <laughs> i mean <laughs> jiggly, jiggly i mean we're not comparing you know uh, <laughs> yours Shriner, is fine help, too <laughs> <laughs> Yours is good too. It's just, it's, it's just different, yeah, it's, you know. <laughs> it's not. No, no. Shriner's not a better company than you, Randy. It's just different. Domination station. Yeah, dom this comes, here comes the domination. <laughs> That's definitely the worst of the trees. Yeah. That's for sure. That was just about 32 inches. All right, enough messing around. We got the, the gas power now. It's all the ivy on these ones. <laughs> It's almost quitting time. Look at this ivy. This ivy is really slowing us down. It just comes off in little chunks. But we got the biggest ones done. These are mostly limbed up. We're kind of cruising along, but I'm gonna bring the bucket down. We're just uh, gonna wrap up for the day here. Stick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's a wrap for this job. One tree's down. These are pretty much brushed out. We just got finished these, and we got some trees over there. It's gonna be here two more days, I guess. I don't know if it's entertaining enough for two more videos, you know? Just wanna entertain you guys. Just, just want you guys to be happy. Yeah, gonna have to hop out of the bucket for that one. And we'll be back in the morning. Yeah, yeah ni nice job on the- Thank you, you too. On the ground was, uh, <laughs> was a dumb thing for the fresh bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Getting into that Florida body. Yeah. yeah. Same time tomorrow? Well, all right, guys. Have We're... a blessed evening. Yeah, likewise. We'll be back in the morning. See you tomorrow. See you in the a.m. Yeah. 8, 8, 8 30. 30, 9. Yeah, I'll be here. Okay. All right, man. All right, later, See ya. And all right, goodbye to all you. Please like and subscribe to this channel. I'd appreciate it. I hope you all have a good day. See you tomorrow.